That marked my wall. <laughs> I'm so excited to film this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing an unboxing. Now I have been waiting about a month and a half now for this item. If you guys watched my first ever story time that I posted maybe a couple days ago, then you guys know that Canada Post is kind of on one right now. Um, they're just misdelivering shit. So when it came to this delivery, I was kind of freaking out. I wanted to make sure that it made it to my apartment and that none of these thieving ass bitches stole this. It's been a while since I spent some money on myself. Now, usually when it comes to makeup, I don't splurge on myself because I don't really wear makeup unless I'm going to the club or I'm going out, I'm trying to look cute, taking pictures, stuff like that. Other than that, I'm looking like this, minus the lashes. This year, got pregnant, wasn't really trying to do much, coronavirus, um, hours got cut, so I wasn't trying to go out and spend a lot of money. I just got to the point where I was like, I deserve this, right? Like, I deserve something. I deserve to spend money on something for myself. I got the idea to splurge on this from my friend Kresha. I'm gonna link her social media somewhere right here. But yeah, I got this idea from Kresha. She has been posting this subscription on her social media and I was kind of, I was interested in it, like when I would see her posting and everything, I would ask her like, is it worth it? Do you like it? All that kind of stuff. Because the makeup that she was posting and all the items she was getting was high quality shit. So I would ask her for months. I'm like, okay, what's good with that? Like, should I get it? I was kind of going back and forth with myself. It was late one night and I was on Instagram, I think. And you know how Instagram has them ads, right? I guess I must have, I don't know if I Googled it or if Instagram went through my fucking Snapchat conversations and seen that we were talking about it, but this ad popped up for BoxyCharm. And I was like, okay, so I went, and it was talking about you get a free makeup palette if you subscribe now. And this was like mid-November. And it was like three in the morning, I couldn't sleep. And I was like, is this a sign that I need to subscribe and get this fucking box? So I was like, fuck this. <laughs> to make a long story short, I subscribed. Now I'm in Canada. They say that the monthly subscription is only $25 plus shipping. But people in Canada, listen to me. Cause we're gonna get into some big numbers here. So they say that if you get this every month and not on the three month or the six month or the 12 month, so if you just buy this every month for $25, if you're in Canada and outside of the US, I'm pretty sure it's like, Krisha said it was like 37 plus tax. If you wanna spend $40 a month on this box, then that's up to you. Krisha told me that I think she got the 12 month subscription. So I was like, fuck it, let me get that one. And then on their website, it says that you basically get 12 boxes for the price of 11. Okay, so I subscribed and I was looking through the prices, right? And I didn't know the conversion from American to Canadian. I was just like, I want the free palette. I just want the subscription, whatever. I'll put $200 down because that's what it was saying on the website, you know, 275 plus shipping. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get the 12 month prepaid BoxyCharm subscription, um, 275, that's nothing. And then put my visa information in and everything. So I purchased it and then I got the receipt and it was basically, it went from 275 plus $60 shipping. So it was 350 or something. So I was kind of looking and I'm like, okay, three, okay, $300, okay. And then I checked my online banking because I was kind of like, let me just see. Because I get anxiety when it comes to money. Ugh, it just gives me anxiety. So I go to check my visa online just to see did the purchase go through. Um, you know, what is it looking like? What's my banking looking like? What's my visa looking like? And the price jumped from 300 and something to $450. 
So I paid $450 for 12 months of BoxyCharm. So if you live in Canada, do not be surprised if you pay and then check your bank and instead of paying $200, $300, you're paying like $400 and some $500, okay? That is why I was just so freaked out about receiving this and especially with last Monday, Canada Post misdelivered my freaking gift. So I was like, fuck no. Like, you're not misdelivering this because this subscription is late. It was supposed to be here December 10th, two Fridays ago, and then they pushed it back to December, I wanna say the 16th, and then they pushed it back again to last Friday, and then they pushed it back again till December 22nd. I've been tracking it, etc., etc., and then on Sunday morning, so like, what is today? So like three days ago, two days ago on Sunday, I was sleeping. Don't mind the bags, by the way. I have not been able to sleep. I get a call from, because I live in an apartment, I get a call, someone's trying to ring themselves up. And it kind of freaks me out because I live alone, so I didn't answer my phone, I didn't buzz the person up. And then I wake up, you know, a couple hours go by, I'm drinking my coffee and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, let me check because I wasn't expecting my package to come on Sunday. I was expecting it today. Um, so I go and I check Canada Post and it says that they attempted to deliver on Sunday. And I was like, oh my God. So they tried to deliver on Sunday. I went down because it said there was a notice left down there. So after I seen my tracking on my phone, I went down to get the notice that apparently was left there and I go and I look at the front door of the building, there's no notice. It's not in my mailbox, it's not hanging on the door like they usually do. So I was like, did someone take my Canada Post notice? I called Canada Post, told them don't give my package out, please don't give it out. Um, it was supposed to be delivered yesterday to the Canada Post place that I went today. It wasn't there, so then I was freaking out again. I'm like, where the hell is my package? Didn't know where my package was for a couple days, so I was just freaking out, because $400, $400. You're not fucking with my $400. You're not fucking with this. It's been about a month. I'm waiting for my December box now. Don't know where that one is. So yeah, let's get right on into this. This is the November boxy charm. Um, like I mentioned, I paid $400 um, Canadian. So this shit better have some good ass makeup. I'm planning on giving some for Christmas to my mom and maybe my sister. It's pretty heavy. Like it's a decent, it's a decent weight. Oh, let me mention. So BoxyCharm, I don't know if they have a customer service thing. So when I first ordered it, I haven't been getting tracking emails like they claim they, to send you. I've had to track it from the website. Um, like I mentioned, my friend Krisha, she gets emails confirming the tracking and that it's been shipped out. I don't get those emails. Um, it's pretty much a waiting game. And I'm assuming because they get shipped out for prepaid, they get shipped out every first of the month or something like that. So for my December box, the one that's coming, um, I didn't get a notification till the 7th of December. So I was kind of confused as to where my December box was. I ordered this on November 19th and I got um, the tracking information updated on the website on November 24th and the 25th. So they sent it out maybe like five or six days after I purchased this. When it comes to the monthly, I don't know. I'm gonna try to keep the lighting the same but the sun is going down. This daylight saving shit is just crazy. Don't mind the skin, this is like no makeup, just my eyelashes. And so if you buy it for three months, six months, 12 months, they ship it out, I believe, on the first of every month. And for me, everybody's different, but for me, um, I'm assuming that they ship it out seven days after the first. I'm assuming this takes about three weeks to come through, so if you're in Canada, it could take three weeks to a month. Trying to get a hold of somebody from BoxyCharm is so hard. I was emailing them because I was kind of afraid. When I ordered on the 19th, I was like, what the hell is going on here? Where's my freaking package? I didn't get an email. Nothing's updating on the website, but it came. So, here we go. I'm 
so freaking excited. Okay, you guys are gonna see with me. Ready? Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, this is so exciting. I hope my uh, free makeup palette is in there. Let's get a better look. We got some mascara here. This is Milk. I think I have the little version of this one from Sephora. I like that mascara. There's a palette in here. I'm scared. I think they sent me the wrong palette. This is really good. I'm surprised. But for $450, y'all better make sure this shit is secure. Okay, this is exciting. This is what I wanted. Let's just go over what they claim. So you get five products, five full products, they say. So it came with these two black things. Now I like this. This makes me happy that they're boxing and using really good protective kind of stuff. I don't know what the word is called, okay? Forgive me, I'm still pregnant. Memories all types of fucked up. Well, there was a palette in here that, um, I think it was Natasha Denona. Never in my life have heard of this person, never heard of the brand, but there was a palette in here that I was planning, I think, on either giving to my mom for Christmas or keeping, one or the other. Um, didn't get the palette, but yeah, there's a coupon in there. There is a list of the products that you got in your box, the price, and then the hashtags that you can use. So first on my list for $38, we got the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed Eyeshadow Palette. Came in this little protective thing, which is really nice as well. Let's see if it's still intact. Daughter is moving. Okay, I might have to <laughs> destroy the thing that it came in. But anyway, um, this is really soft and velvety if you give a shit about the packaging that it comes in. Mine is not coming out of this little slide. So I'm just gonna break it. my light so let's try this again um, so there was a protective thing on it to protect the eyeshadow Wow so the makeup came intact nothing is broken in the palette as you guys can see I'm not gonna do swatches next on the list is the snow mushroom water serum for $62 back in there because I think this is gonna go like I said to my mommy then next we have the milk makeup Kush waterproof mascara for $24 I like milk's mascara we have the int cosmetics lip oil for $11 I am not one to really use lip gloss like this um, or lip oil. Might be another gift for somebody. And then the last thing that I received was the Bodyography Eye Pencil Duo. And these are infused with coconut oil, allegedly. These go for $16. Should I open this? This might also be a gift. I don't really use eyeliner like that. Okay, 
Okay, that. <laughs> that marked my wall. The lid came off. The lid is still in there. And the pencil came out. Um, yeah, and I kind of, yeah, okay. There we go. Well, we have onyx and we have black walnut. The last thing, it's not on this piece of paper, but this is the Juvia's Place. I think that's what it's called. Is this Juvia's Place? I think so. I don't even know. But um, I'm pretty sure this is Juvia's Place. Il Luis. You know what? I don't know how to pronounce half of this shit. This is the palette. Like I said, um, I had to put a special code in when I was purchasing my whole subscription just to get this. So I'm really happy that this came in. I was kind of skeptical and afraid that, okay, I put the promo code in. I was told I was gonna get this. Maybe they're not gonna put it in my box, but they did. Let me try to get this protective, because there's a case on it. Oh. <coughs> this one came off better than the Beauty Bakery. Um, yeah, so it just has the same thing. A queen lies in all of us. You damn right. Ooh, there's that protective. Ooh. I'm a little bit excited. Ooh. Wow. This is beautiful. I've never owned makeup like this. I don't know how much this costs. I'm assuming it's going to be 30, 40 bucks. I might include the price somewhere in here for this palette just because I don't know. Yeah, and it comes with a good sized mirror and a lot of eyeshadows. There's 20 shades in here. I've been watching a lot of Brittany Vaughn and she does a nice halo eye with pinks like this. Oh, hey girl, how you doing? Um, she does a lot of peachy pink halo eyes. So I'm excited to try some of those. I tried that with the purple in my maternity shoot video, the second one. Didn't really come out the way that I thought it would come out. But yeah guys, that is my BoxyCharm unboxing those were the products that i got for november if you guys are interested in subscribing to boxycharm i will link my referral code right here somewhere and in the description box below so you can put that in and i don't know if you get money off but i think i'm pretty sure i get charms for referring so if you want to use my referral code you can go ahead and do that i'm surprised so how much came in here so this box just doing the math in my head and I'm not a good mathematician, but this is over a hundred dollars worth of products that came in this box this month, over a hundred. I wanna say maybe $130 worth of makeup, skincare, and lip and stuff. Now they do ask you to do quizzes for your hair, makeup, foundation, color, what kind of products that you wanna receive. I don't know if any of this, I'm pretty sure, like I don't mind half of the stuff that I got here. Um, I just don't remember if this is what I picked for my boxes, um, but I'm really not mad about it. Um, I'm just happy that I got my little queen palette. I didn't know that this one was coming in my box though. I thought it was gonna be the other one. But anyway guys, yeah, thank you so much for watching my little unboxing video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I did get a comment from, I believe it was Madison. She had asked if I can do more makeup videos. So now that I have some new makeup here and some different palettes to play with, I will be doing some reviews on these and I will be playing a little bit more in makeup. So make sure that you have subscribed to my channel. If you have any questions regarding BoxyCharm, yeah, leave it in the comments. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.